Let's do it. So with a thunderous digital applause, here is Mr. Tom Crosby. Do you, Armand? Rubik's Cube. Mathematically speaking, there are 43 quintillion different combinations. That blows my mind. This is me. I'm Tom. I'm a nerd. This is what I do. I do other stuff as well, but I think this is pretty cool. I hope you like it too. And we're back. Please welcome to the Eye Magician Show, Tom Crosby. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Hello. Yeah, all good. All the better for seeing you. Oh, wow. Thanks so much for doing this today. I know that we've got all a lot of time on our hands, but it's great to do something so productive. Now, in your introduction, uh, I made a point to say that you're not a magician. It's not fair to call you a magician, but what you do is really, really magical, isn't it? So how oh, do you like to be framed? Uh, it, it's different. On the, uh, on, on the fringe circuit and the comedy clubs and stuff, I call myself the performing nerd. Uh, but on the, on the cruise ships, I call myself the international man of memory. Uh, uh, because... The, uh, the, the nerd thing doesn't play quite as well to the, uh, the, no. the demographic on the ships. I can see uh, that because I saw your show in Edinburgh, which was incredible, you, you know. We all, we oh, all talk about that story and how we became friends because that was <laughs> yeah. amazing. And I was on my way in to see a, a different show, actually, and um, somebody recommended, no, you don't want to see that, you want to see Tom. <laughs> and um, so it was a fantastic uh, show. Just I was blown away by it because... Like I say, it really gave you that sense of wonder, but oh, bless you. Thank you, Jamie. everything seems so real, you know, and it really does. I mean, what? Yeah. Um, it, it's difficult to describe to people because it is, it is a lot of memory tests. It is a lot of useless facts, but it's incredibly engaging and funny. Oh, I absolutely. You. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of what it is you do. It's, it's an odd one. I, I, I tried to kind of create my own sort of genre, as it were, you know, but by doing not magic tricks, uh, but skills you know and d demonstrating skills in a way that you know border on impossible but still very much possible you know yeah. everything that i'm doing I, I i always say i i don't have any special skills i just have more patience and <laughs> and <laughs> and, and, more, and a lot more free time than most people so yeah well it, i mean i i've sometimes used uh, that quote from somebody else when people ask how do you do something and i say because i put more time into it than yeah. one might reasonably expect <laughs> and anytime someone certainly true in your case absolutely anytime somebody says to me how do you do it i kind of come back i think the real question should be why why do i do it why have i put the time and effort into uh, into learning all these useless skills but uh, because it yeah. pays the bills now so for our viewers that don't know tom was actually um stranded on one of the cruise ships that got caught with no uh, port to go to but in the end uh, managed to make a, a, a daring escape a pretty dramatic escape yeah. in the press and it was even in time magazine i think it was in time we made it onto cnn i had a friend of wow. mine in canada message me and tell me that we're on the local news there so it was uh, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was a strange situation yeah it, it all ended with a an emergency military evacuation from cuba wow. orchestrated by the british government which certainly sounds good uh, as far as we were concerned, it was a flight home after a long few days at sea, but it was, uh, yeah, it was certainly an experience. Wow, yeah, I mean, that's something that you'll tell, you know, you'll tell everybody about <laughs> for a long time. I'm sure there's a, yeah. there's half a book and some movie rights in this somewhere. <laughs> as long as I get to choose who plays me, I'll be fine. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. What, what, what are you uh, working on now with all your downtime? Are you just practicing? Are you well, going to be working on some new material? I, I'm, I'm working on a few new bits and pieces for the Edinburgh Fringe for this year, if indeed oh. it goes ahead, because there is now talk of it maybe not happening. Oh. Uh, although the, the running joke has been that uh, the economic impact of the Fringe being cancelled will be massive. There will be hundreds and hundreds of comedians that are thousands of pounds better off. <laughs> so it's a maybe. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, Tom, I've seen a lot of what you do, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers, our viewers... Uh, are going to be split pretty evenly between uh, magicians that obviously have an interest in this, but also the general public. And this show is for everybody, and I want them to get a, an idea of what it is that you do. And uh, you said you might be able to demo something I, for I'm you sure I can. Uh, oh, but look, I, because I've seen it, though, I was going to bring in Adam. Oh, awesome. Yes. You, I know that you know Adam, so let's see if I can I grab hold of Adam here. Adam, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, I can hear you. Hey, Adam. Hello, Guy. Hello, Mr. Crosby. How are you? I'm well, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you back in the country, my friend. Oh, nice to be back. Uh, <laughs> although I'm, I'm not too so keen on the weather. So you can show me something. 
Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, forget about that. So you're going to show me something. Show me something, I will, movie, something uh, I haven't seen. Oh, I, I just happen to have a Rubik's Cube here. Let me grab it for you. Uh, Tell Supreme. Here we go. So uh, this is a Rubik's Cube. Everyone's familiar with it. There are lots and lots of different combinations. Uh, only one solution. Uh, that involves peeling all the stickers off and spray painting it. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to try uh, and solve it a little bit quicker than that. Because, of course... Oh, hang on, where, where have we gone? Uh, a lot of people, when it comes to the Rubik's Cube, the world record, if you're interested, is uh, 3.4 seconds at the moment. Um, I am not quite that fast, unless you let me cheat. Uh, when I say cheat, hopefully I can do it fairly quickly. Bear with me. Oh, this is the long bit. So that's wow. one. Uh, <laughs> that's one, but for me, that oh bless you, uh, it's it's not quite quick enough. It can be done quicker, uh, but this is technically cheating at the moment. This looks like it's all mixed up, but it is currently uh, this is currently seventeen moves from being solved. If I do this, this is now seven moves away. Seven moves, and I know what those seven moves are. And if I can do those seven moves quickly enough, it looks frankly, as you say, it looks a bit like a magic trick. It is not magic. This is just seventeen years and not many friends. Not all jokes, uh, but watch, watch close. Here we go. Five, I'm going to do five moves in this hand. Throw it into this hand. Do the last two moves as it lands. I think it looks pretty cool. Just don't blink. That'll do. That is absolutely fantastic, <laughs> mate. Brilliant. So, that is amazing. That's what I I've do. picked up a couple. <laughs> I've picked up a couple of Rubik's cubes in my time, thinking should I do something with it. I know there was a resurge in it, and I saw people like you and thought, forget it. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, that's, oh, that's really kind. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad that I can put some people off. Uh, yeah, Adam's got them, in the, two just Adam's got them on the shelf. 15 years. Yeah, ever since Adam's I moved into that it. house, I've been to that house enough times, those Rubik's Cubes have always been there. I, to be honest, you're far better off having friends and a social life, I think. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Now, listen, so, Tom, I've got a test for you, if that's all right. You got a what, sorry? Um, you said, uh, I've got a test for oh, you. Go well, on. a bit of a quiz for you, if that's okay. Now, obviously, the Trivial Pursuit thing and you've been memorising stuff, so I'm going to give you a quick few questions on Rubik's Cubes. Is that okay? <laughs> Go for it. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so we're going to fire through these just quickly. I just want to test your quick fire general knowledge. So, um, what was the Rubik's Cube originally called? Uh, it was originally called the Magic Cube, created by Professor yes, Erno Rubik in 1974. <laughs> Very good. Now, in the video footage as well that's already been played, you've already told us there's 43 quintillion possible combinations. My question to you is, how many zeros are there in the number quintillion? <laughs> 18. Quintillion? There are 18 it's zeros. 18. Uh, okay, can you give me the actual 18 numbers? Oh, gosh, I'm not sure if I can. Uh, there will be people out there that definitely can. I'm not sure I can. It's uh, 43 uh, quintillion, 274 quadrillion, 3 trillion... And that's about as far as I got before I got bored. Is that 856 oh, come billion? Do you know 856 do. million? Do. I'm not sure. It is 856,000. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. Um, Jacob King solved the Rubik's Cube in 20.57 seconds. How? Uh, was that with his feet? It was with his feet. Yes. <laughs> uh, the puzzle is made up of how many individual cubes? Uh, oh, gosh. Um, technically... Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I believe it's 18 and a central core. Uh, or 26, I've got to hear, cubelets or cubies. Mm. Um, but again, you win. Um, <laughs> no, I might be wrong. Named the magic cube to the Rubik's Cube in which year? Oh, uh, 1980 or 1979? Correct. Oh, was it 80? Okay, I'll stick with the first answer. Well done. <laughs> um, what's the maximum amount of moves that you um, that it takes to solve a Rubik's Cube? Uh, 20. It's known as God's Number and it was discovered in 1994. Well done. Uh, and the last question is, how many of these questions are there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and how long before I go up against the chaser? Well, yeah, yeah, well, this is it. You're doing very well so far. Um, what percentage of the world's population can solve a Rubik's Cube? Oh, I believe Lots it's something like 3% or 5% or something like that. It's quite... 5.8. Oh, is it 5.8? Uh, but I, I, imagine that is, I imagine that's most of certain countries can solve them. I think in Hungary it's incredibly yeah. popular. So, uh, yeah, they're probably throwing off the average for most other countries. So. Well, well done, mate. You've well, got well, pretty geez. much all those whites. Well done. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm so, yeah, I'm sorry we <laughs> put you on the spot there. No, I like you it. Want, though, Tom, that's... That is seriously impressive. Oh, no, the, the whole nerd thing is not just a character. This is, this is actually my life. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. 
Well, I'll tell you what, Tom, thanks so much for coming on. You take care and um, keep in touch Cheers. with me. And, um, you know, I love seeing what you're working on. It's fantastic. Oh, thank and, you, Jamie. Uh, thanks for sharing it uh, with us tonight. Well, I appreciate you having me, mate. Yeah, you too, mate. Lovely to see you. Thanks for having me, guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, no, great. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye-bye.